One man's trash is another man's treasure. It's also a prized fixture in the likes of the Smithsonian Museum in Washington, D.C., the New Orleans Museum of Art, and now it's the latest exhibit at the Louisiana State Museum in Patterson. The local museum is featuring renowned Louisiana folk artist and former Patterson native David Butler. Carved merely from his imagination, Butler began decorating his yard with these cutouts and sculptures of fanciful creatures and animals. At first glance, most folks called it a pile of junk. <laughs> Why was he making this stuff? I say it didn't make sense to me at the time. Butler's great niece, Algertha Wilson, admitted she too believed the pieces to be junk, but placed sentimental value in her uncle's passion for his work. I had several people to say, well, why don't you sell it? I said, oh, no, I'm going to keep it because that's what I have to remember him by. And he's gone now, so, you know, I don't have anything else to remember him by. So I will always keep those two pieces. They're dear to me. Wilson described her uncle as a kind, patient, and loving person, a stark contrast to the man people once referred to as a public oddity. They used to call him the medicine man, they call him the tin man, they call him the voodoo man, all kind of names, you know, the children did, and they used to run and throw things on his house. But he would just take it in stride, he'd just laugh and go on, he'd never uh, bother about it. Reporting from Patterson, Danica Foley, KWBJ News.